When I realized I was an atheist, I also realized I still had this fear of the idea of hell. I no longer have that fear, but I'm aware of other people who still have that fear weighing on them. People who have also come out as an atheist, but that fear is still kind of in the back of their mind. So I wanted to make a video all about how I grew out of that fear and also tell you why I think it makes sense if you are an atheist and you still do have that fear. And I'll also explain why. All of us atheists know and acknowledge, I think, how ridiculous and irrational it is to have a fear of hell. Because obviously we don't believe in it. How does one fear something they don't believe in? Here's where I think psychologically it makes sense. But first, let's define hell. Hell. 1. A place of evil and everlasting suffering to which the wicked are sent after death. 2. A state or place of great suffering. Quick note, let's look at the injustice of this. Lack of fairness or justice. A so-called loving and caring God sending people to this place that he obviously created for them. For anyone who chooses not to love or follow him. Punishing someone forever is not justice. Also, how could anyone enjoy a heaven if they knew that their loved ones or some of their family members were now suffering eternally in hell? Now, getting back to why fearing a hell, even when you don't believe in it, makes sense to me. One, I think about how old I was when I was told of other people's idea of a hell and what that was and what that is to them. Two, I think about who it was that told me of a hell and also how many years I carried that idea with me of what a hell was. Three, I think about how many times throughout my childhood and adolescence I was repeatedly reminded of this hell. I think once you realize all of these things about your past, you now kind of get that this fear isn't gonna go away overnight. If this fear has been built up for months and years, it's going to take some time to tear this fear down. Growing up, I remember my church would put on like these scary plays, you know, PG scary, of Satan luring people to him and taking people to this hell. And I'm not sure why, but I vividly remember seeing posters with Darth Maul from Star Wars episode this is shit, don't even bother, Darth Maul posing as Satan in an upcoming play production. Out of all the villainous characters they could have picked, they chose Darth Maul. He's not even a very good Sith. But anyway, I think my church was fascinated and loved terrifying people with the idea of hell. Hell was my biggest fear as a kid. My idea of hell was something like that. Imagine medieval torture that you learn about in history books, like the most god-awful torture to harm another human being and potentially kill them. And you're unable to pass out. You're unable to die because you are suffering insurmountable pain for the rest of eternity. Or maybe a better example would be Dante's Inferno. Yeah, as a little girl growing up with that imagery in my head, I think that really messed with me. And that made me extremely afraid of pissing off the Christian God. And the Christian God is an absolute bully and anything will set him off. Now, think back to your experience with all of this. How old were you when you first learned about hell? Were you indoctrinated as a kid? How many years was hell in your mind and in your thoughts for weeks on end? Who stands out in your memory who told you about hell in the first place or on repeat? Did you, like me, attend Jesus camps? Where again, you were probably threatened with hell by pastors in what seemed like a raging scream match into their already too loud sound system. I still hate these reprobates. I still hate these sodomites. I still hate these haters of God and these vile perverters of the flesh. Now, let's come back to the present. <sighs> Breathe with me. <sighs> it makes sense to me if you are someone who has this fear. And again, we can all fully acknowledge how irrational it is. But I think over the course of months and years of repeatedly hearing about a hell, or maybe you only heard about hell once when you were younger, and given the context of that conversation and who you were having it with, could spook you enough to almost subconsciously fear it. Maybe you just find yourself thinking about it at what seems like random moments. Or maybe this is a thought that you re-experience in your dreams. Regardless, I think it takes time to step back and disengage from a fear and to no longer be afraid of it. So I would suggest to just give yourself some more time and to talk about it with other people, with friends. Being able to talk to a secular therapist has helped me so much. I have seen Christian counselors in the past and I was not able to talk about religion at all with them. So that is a big tip right there is to just see a secular therapist because they could 
really help you. Also, something that's really helped me is just being able to laugh about the ridiculousness of not just hell, but religion as well. I think when I've listened to comedians or just people in general joke about religion and the idea of hell, that kind of disabled the fear. It helped this big fear in my head become so small over time. Listening to people like George Carlin, David Cross, Ricky Gervais. I mean, I could name so many people right now, but just listening to them just kind of poke fun at religion and also hell. It's very liberating. Another thing that's really helped me is just going online and finding other people's blog posts and also videos from other people who used to have this fear, or maybe someone's talking with someone else who no longer has this fear. Just hearing other people share their stories and talk about this as well has really helped. It helps you realize you're not alone. Other people also have this fear and other people also no longer carry this fear with them. And I think it helps to realize that, that this fear can go away, but I really think it just takes some time. And I'm adding some helpful videos and blog posts down below in the description bar from other people who are talking about this same topic. Hopefully, if you are an atheist and you are struggling with this, you'll find those resources helpful. I would also love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. If you're someone who is an atheist and you no longer have this fear, and maybe you have some tips or advice you'd like to give others, I would love to see that. And I bet you could be very helpful for other people as well. So if you have any thoughts or advice, please share. All right, special thanks to my patrons who are supporting this channel. Special thanks to you if you're a subscriber and you've hit that notification bell. An extended portion of this video is going to be on my Patreon, so if you want to check that out, it'll be linked below as well. I share a personal story from when I was younger and I first remember learning about a hell. And I think I was around five years old. That sticks out to me. I'm not sure why, but around five years old. And always, thanks for watching. Bye. Ah! Pissed blood! Somewhere in the goddamn fucking fall! Fall!